You may have noticed the men you saw on the street today were sporting a bit of extra facial hair, the beginnings of what will become their Movember mustaches. The month of November has been renamed to promote awareness and fundraising efforts for prostate cancer. A News reporter Steve Colterman joins us now live with the story. Steve? Andrew, since 2007, over 600,000 men have let their stash loose. On uh, day one of the 2010 campaign, over 200,000 guys are clean-shaven and starting from scratch. At Sports Barbers in Nanaimo, a place suited for a man, McGregor Johnston is supporting his gender by taking part in Movember for the first time. I'm a man, and I think as a man, I, it's my uh, duty to support. All my buddies are doing it, so might as well. A hot towel shave was selected by Johnston as he prepared himself for the fourth ever Movember. Since 2007, Canadians have raised more than $11 million for Prostate Cancer Canada, and globally, over $100 million has been raised. Johnston is one of 50,000 Canadians starting clean and growing their stashes for the next 30 days. Waiting for him at the end of Movember will be barbershop owner Kevin Arnold. So we're going to be involved with the Clippers. Uh, they're going to be growing mustaches, and amongst themselves, they'll be having a contest. So we'll shave their mustaches um, on, a, on November 30th. They'll come in as well. Come in, we'll do a shave your mustache off by donation with all proceeds going to the Prostate Cancer Society. Meanwhile, in downtown, the staff at Boutique Mac have a friendly competition set into place. By using Twitter, they have challenged another group of Movember supporters from Victoria. Our goal is $5,000. Even though our, our uh, group is based on our company, it's, uh, we're inviting members of the community to participate if they're doing it on their own because it is a community fundraising effort. Store manager Mike Duddy and his staff feel 30 days could be a bit of a challenge as many employees have never grown facial hair, while others can't stand a stash. It's one of those things you can't really hide. No, you can't, but in the end, it's all for a good cause. So what styles will the staff be sporting this time around? Yeah, I want curly. The Raleigh fingers? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I don't know, I've never actually tried to grow a mustache, so whatever appears, I'm gonna go try and go with, I guess. I think I'm going to go with the Chinese 8. It's like, you know, you have it down the, the sides, and it resembles a Chinese character 8. So in 30 days, we'll see who could stand all the itchiness. Movember has already raised over $4 million this time around. Now, I wasn't here at this time last year, but my sources, Andrew, do tell me that you put together some type of an effort to grow your mo. Can we expect a stash in 30 days? I don't think you can, and you're, you're lucky you weren't here last year. That was a very poor excuse for a mustache. Jordan Cunningham's was great. How about you this year? It looks like you've got a little something going on there. Uh, no, this is uh, about a week old, so uh, don't count on me to have a stash, but I do support the cause. It's initiation. You have to. <laughs> it's a rookie initiation. Yeah. I'll try and uh, come up with something for you. All right. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.